OK, so let's say I want to solve sex squared x equals 4 plus 2 tan x between 0 and 2 pi. Now, this looks suspiciously like a quadratic waiting to be solved. The only problem is that I can't solve it as it stands because we have a quadratic that involves both sec x and tan x. Apologies for the thunder. <laughs> um, it's a bit rainy outside. So, if I go back to uh, our trig identity sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, now I can get sec squared dividing through by cos squared. So that will give me tan squared plus 1 is sec squared x. So I can replace the sec squared with tan squared plus 1. Then I can throw everything onto the left-hand side of the equation, like so, to give myself a quadratic that just involves tan. So this is a quadratic that can be factorised, so that I would have tan x minus 3, tan x plus 1 equals 0. So either this bracket is 0, in which case tan x is 3, or this bracket is 0, in which case tan x is minus 1. So if I sketch tan between 0 and 2 pi, then 3 will be up here. I'm expecting two solutions. So inverse tan of 3 gets me 1.25 to 3 sig fig. And adding on pi to get to the second solution gets me 4.39. OK, so they are the two solutions for tan x equals 3. Now, for tan x equals minus 1, minus 1 is down here. So I'm still expecting two solutions. More thunder. Uh, tan x, inverse tan of minus 1. Uh, is minus pi over 4. Now, minus pi over 4 is to the left of the y-axis. So, that's not a solution. These two are. That is not a solution because I'm looking at solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So, I need to add on pi to get to that one there. So, 3 pi over 4. That's a solution. And then add on another pi to get this solution, which is 7 pi over 4. And so I have the four solutions that solve the original problem. So in order of size, I've got the 1.25 to 3 sig fig. I've got the 3 pi over 4. I've got the 4.39. And I've got the 7 pi over 4. And they are the four solutions.